Internet Scientist. A couple of years ago, I made a video on my other channel. I tested whether using a toothbrush or mouthwash was more effective at removing bacteria from my mouth. The results were very much in favor of using a toothbrush. Afterwards, a lot of people commented wanting to see the results of combining a toothbrush and mouthwash to see if it was more effective. And well, here's the experiment. I used four petri dishes with TSA Media. One for control plate, one mouthwash, one toothbrush, and one combined with toothbrush and mouthwash. As in my previous videos, I weighed out a 5 gram piece of chocolate, ate it, and then let bacteria grow in my teeth for 60 minutes. For the toothbrush, I brushed for 2 minutes, and for the mouthwash, I used it for 30 seconds. Cultures were incubated for 48 hours at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. First up is the control plate where I did not brush or use mouthwash, hence the large bacteria growth. The culture on the left is from my molars, and on the right is from my front teeth. This clear patch right here is from a buildup of water, as the plate was sitting at an angle. When condensation built up, water ran down into this side of the plate, causing bacteria to not grow there. Overall, this is a standard control plate with very high bacteria density. And next up is the mouthwash plate. As in the previous video, there's less bacteria, but not a significant amount. When compared to the control plate, it's clear that mouthwash is not a very good standalone mouth cleanser. Next is the toothbrush. This plate had less bacteria density from my molars and a significant drop in bacteria from my front teeth, which means I probably brushed my front teeth more than my back teeth. Oh well. Here's a comparison with mouthwash. Last but not least, the toothbrush plus mouthwash plate. I was surprised by this result. With brushing and mouthwash, I was expecting a somewhat clean petri dish, or at least a huge drop in bacteria. Compared with the toothbrush plate, it's not a big improvement, and it's only slightly better. I guess this goes to show that it's very difficult to remove 100% of bacteria from your mouth, and that there's always going to be a remaining population. Thanks for watching.